guys, it's John from TheProductiveGarden.com and today I'm here at Floriard, which is a garden show which I've been to a few times. I've got some other videos from previous years and um, basically there's a huge tulip display here. That's probably the, the main draw card here. But they also have some other garden stuff. So let's go and have a look at the tulip gardens and we'll have a look at what else is here. One fun thing to do down here is a place called Gnome Knoll, which is where you get to buy your own gnome and you get to paint it any way you like. So the family and I are going to get a gnome each and we're going to paint them up and see how good we can make them look. parts of Floriard that I like to look at, being an enthusiast of growing my own food, is their veggie garden food growing section and today they've got a stand called the Urban Agriculture Stand and they've got some good ideas in there, a lot of um, aquaculture, composting and worm farms and that sort of thing, so let's go and have a look at what's going on in there. So some of the things they've got are the usual like, garden beds, uh, just a low raised bed here with some logs around it. A bit of herbs, some um, some flowers, and looks like some currants, snow peas, and um, beans, uh, broad beans. Some more broad beans. Looks like a beetroot that's gone to gone to flower. Some brassica, Brussels sprouts, maybe or something that's gone to flower, and a couple of other veggies and stuff in there as well. A bed from repurposed materials and a nice garden wall. Attached to the rain tank. Got a simple aquaponics section here with the fish down in there somewhere. And then you've got the water coming out here and then draining down the other side. So easy to make some more raised beds. Made out of old fence palings by the look of them. Yeah, straw by old beds. They finished the mint, they moved the night, all the basil. Nice. Got a bit of a chook tractor here as well. Some comfrey for the compost. And the tubs for compost. The yarrow, which is another compost starter. The old compost heap. And this is a um a pet poo composter. So what happens is you put your foot on the pedal here, that lifts the lip and put the poo in. And down in the idea is that the bottom part below the um, the bottom part below the pedal, which is on the outside, gets buried in the ground and the worms come and break down the pet poo, the dog poo or cat poo, take it out into the soil and after a while you can put more in it just keeps cycling through. Compost bins here as well. Right, also here they've got a little mini greenhouse for obviously starting seeds and stuff. 
and they've got some wicking beds here, so they've got the looks like some sort of again fencing or pallets or something like that. So repurposed materials with the lining, and that's the filler tube there for topping up the wicking part. So they show here the way it's made. We've got the um, the story, so the reservoir with the waterproof lining, and then you've got a bit of geotextile. You can also use straw to separate the the reservoir for the wicking medium from the soil. Um, so you've got a bit of geotext separating it. They have. And then you've got the soil on top, and this is, of course, the filling tube. And they've also put in a bit of a worm, like an inbuilt worm farm, where you can put scraps and stuff inside this bit of plastic tube. It's just a bit of PVC tube with holes drilled in it, and the worms can come in, eat the scraps, and then take them out into the soil. That's an easy way to um, have an inbuilt worm farm in your garden. And I've, I've built these things, my worm towers and that sort of thing. I've built these things, and I've got videos on them as well. Right here we've got a bit of a water feature and it's built on top of the rocket stove. And the way I'm guessing this is working is the fuel goes in here and somehow they manage to load it up. And then the exhaust, the chimney goes up through with a smoke, sorry, goes up through this flue here. And so they must use this for, warm, for warming up the water that's in the bathtub. And they've got another raised bed here and this one, one of the walls is built with a sort of gabion style wall where you've got these rocks and they're being held in by the wire mesh, that's a, a gabion wall. Um, made a bit different with like timber framing and that sort of thing, usually it's just a wire cage, but I think that's really good with the rocks in there. And they continue that feature around the outside here. We've got a worm tower thing, which I've built something similar to this. So your scraps go in there, the worms come in and get the scraps and take them out into the soil like the one in the wicking bed. And it was a pretty groovy looking scarecrow. Hello. Things they do here in Canberra where Floriard is is they breed their ducks awful big. You can see this little duckling behind me. And I'm, yeah, so, get a fair bit of meat off that thing there when it grows up. Anyway, that's a look around Floriard for this year. That's always a, a nice day down here and um, it looks like with the wind coming up and the clouds coming across that we might get some rain soon so I reckon it's just about time to go home. Anyway, that's it for now and until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.